Okay, hello guys. I'm just uh, posting this video just to give you an idea of what uh, you can do tomorrow on Wednesday. And um, I know you've been working on some of the stuff and I was anticipating that you'd be working it on the Wednesdays that I would be uh, at my administration meetings. Um, that's all right though. Like I think uh, we'll just go through and, and see what there is that uh, you need to clean up and work on. So if you look under assignments, uh, there's one assignment that's posted, and that was the safety module. So it just should should come up here right away. And I think all of you have worked on this and have turned it in, and I think I'm going to be picking that up tomorrow. Okay. There's a few other things, though, that I would like you to work on. And uh, under the safety tab, uh, there's the occupational health and safety uh, modules 1, 2, and 3. There's some stuff uh, that I want you to be able to read there. And then there's this entire section on first aid that I would like you to be able to go through as well. So you can go through, and uh, this is basically a first aid section with the different areas that I would like you to be able to cover. Now, what goes up with this is not a uh, an assignment, but there are quizzes that go with this. And you can see that the occupational health and safety quiz is right here. So if you were to go through the safety, go through the occupational health and safety quiz, do this, this quiz, uh, notice that the passing mark is 80. So you cannot uh, proceed uh, unless you get a passing mark. The first aid, the passing mark is an 85. So if you take a look at the occupational health and safety quiz, uh, you just have to put in a password. I believe the password is Chinook for all of these, but uh, that's what you should have to put in for your quizzes. The first aid uh, as well. Then you also see there's a woodworking uh, basics exam. So while I'm in here, you can take a look at the, the woodworking basics. The password Chinook. Now the material for that actually comes under the construction and carpentry. All right, so that's where the woodworking basics, and then there's this woodworking basics uh, online material that I have but here. And it should come up. Okay, so there's this PAA uh, construction module, woodworking basics. If you click here, you're going to get a, an online version of this handle that I have for you, and then I want you to be able to work on that as well. Okay, so that should, should take you quite a bit of time and should be what you need to be able to work on. So by the end of tomorrow, I'm hoping that you're going to have your safety module done. You are going to have your woodworking basics and your quiz uh, and your uh, occupational health and safety and your first aid. I want that to be able to, to be done, those quizzes. So I should see that uh, tomorrow. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. I think if you do that, I think there's probably a, a good chance that you're, you're caught up here. There's a couple of other things. Uh, the hand and power tools, that should be done as well. So the hand and power tools. But we already talked about that last day when you were here. Okay, so you can review that as well. Uh, there's one other thing that I wanted to explain. And if you look under safety, there was the WIMIS online training certificate, the Young Workers Readiness Certificate, and the uh, Vanguard PAA Shop Safety. That was uh, the module that we did. But there's this WIMIS, um, if you've signed up for it, or if you you have to decide whether or not you want to take this training, the Young Workers Readiness Certificate is something that you can work on as well. And you should just be able to log in here. And this is a course that uh, workers need, young workers need in the province to be able to even do like summer jobs and things like that. So that's another area that you can work on as well. And I think that's that's about it. That should give you plenty of work to be working on tomorrow and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys next Wednesday and this will all be done. You can email me if you need. I'm usually on email and uh, if you're using Google, 
mail or Gmail, then you can actually Google chat with me as well and I can answer some questions that way. So that should be about it.